use those anymore? Is that like absolutely? Yeah. So uh, Adrian's question is, is like when you build a website, there's an area within the head where you can put meta tags and keywords. And so we'll just go and take a look at my mama's website. <laughs> and we'll see if I did that. I'm sure I did. Uh, sorry, I don't even come up as mcclouds.com when you type in mcclouds. They're like, that's an irrelevant <laughs> web page. So we'll go to page uh, view source. And here inside, you can see uh, here's the head, the opening head tag. And, you know, look at all this stuff which is included in the head tag, right? There's like just a whole bunch of crap. It just goes on and on and on. I'm actually surprised at how little I know about web programming. <laughs> when I look at like some of the stuff I've done, and then I, 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 I'm like, okay, God, why do I always feel like I'm just still starting? I don't know. Because there's always something new coming out. Yeah. It, it's a, and you know, thank you, thank you for this question, because I actually want to point out a really wonderful resource, which I, I love. I love this resource, because this is a down-to-earth lady who does uh, – uh, I don't know, a podcast. It's called the Web by a uh, Web Ahead. So if you just search for the Web Ahead, and her name's Jen Simmons. She's been a web programmer from the '90s. And the statement I just made, like, "Why do I always feel like I'm a beginner?" is like something very similar to what she would say. And she's like, you know, black belt web programmer, been doing it forever. And these are great talks to download and just listen to when you're in your car. But you know, uh, uh, I haven't looked at it recently, the last couple of times, but. You know, like one of the things I mentioned uh, that would be really interesting or important for us to know about is componentizing the web with Rob Dots Dodson. So talking about web components and Polymer, uh, you know, on Tuesday I listed like these are the things you really need to know and Polymer and web components is one of them. And this talk here on web components with uh, Rob Dod Dodson is, uh, is awesome. And when you hear that, you'll be like, oh, yeah, okay, that's what's coming. We've got to do that. So this is a great, great resource right here. So the question was uh, that Adrian asked is like, here we have keywords and description. Yes, yes, those are, should still be included. And no, they don't carry much weight. And the reason they don't carry much weight is because they got gamed so much that they lost meaning. And, and what search engines really try to look at for ranking pages is things that people cannot game, right? And so what are things people cannot game? Well, Google can tell right you know not only google can see how many other people have accessed your web page that are using a google account so they can see how popular it is how long do they stay right they can see how many other websites are linking to your web page and so those metrics are really important to saying oh this is a high quality page it gets a lot of visitors and they stay there for a long time and there's a lot of people linking to this page from other resources around the web mentioning it in places you know if if you have like a video on YouTube and your video gets referenced in Stack Overflow and that gets upvoted to like the number one response, you know, then that's going to like make your re your results return higher in, in Google search engine. Um, I think, you know, figuring out how to get higher ranks naturally organically inside a search engine is, uh, is a discipline in and of itself. It's called search engine optimization and SEO, SEO and... Um, and there's, there's, uh, you know, it's also it's a mystery and it's an art, um, and uh, and it's also in some ways just good to build a really good business and have have solid marketing strategies that don't rely upon Google putting you in at the top two natural organic search results, right? So yeah, should you include keywords? Yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, but we somebody mentioned Wix, you know, uh, on Tuesday, right? So let's just I don't know why that just comes to mind for me. But let's right click it and choose view page source and uh, and and see if they have they have description right there right and let's see if they control F if they have keywords they didn't even bother to put in keywords right so let's also to take a look at um, I don't know dig and right click it and view page source and you know and this is really one of the ways that okay what are really nice pages doing you know, popular, you know, uh, commercial scale sites. What are they doing? And we have meta name and meta type. So I'm just looking for a description. So descript. So they got a description, right? And is keywords in there? And uh, so keywords are, are in here for something health, human nature, for titles. But I'm not sure that this is, uh, where are we? We're still up near the top. And we're at line 225. So where does head end? So I'm just going to 
type forward slash head to see where head ends. And head ends at 235. So we were, we were still in the head. Actually, it's right here. And uh, and they had something called keywords. I'm not sure how they're using that. That's a header. You're in the header. That's the header. Oh, that's ending the header. Thank you. The, the Let's go up to the head <laughs> header. Head ended at 76. So that wasn't even keywords in the head. Yeah. So the video we watched in Rio's class uh, said that uh, the algorithm was probably ignoring the keywords now. And sure, sure. Content instead down inside the body of the. Not like smart search in the... Yeah, and that's where they're getting their keywords is from the actual. The from the content yeah. and from the semantics, yeah. you know, and, and like what has what emphasis, you know, and there's there's not only semantics, but they also have, um, uh, I want to call them micro semantics, but so I'm just going to Google that because that's micro data and micro, thank you, micro data has, um, there's different aspects of micro data. If you look for micro data, uh, Google best, whoops, I don't want to speak now. <laughs> Best lips. I don't want to speak now. Uh, Taylor Swift, last kiss lyrics. Um, so micro data, uh, Google best practices. And so about rich snippets and structured data. So here we have rich snippets and structured data. And we're just taking a little bit of a tangent here and, and getting kind of but here you can read about rich, uh, rich snippets, which includes microdata, microformats, RDFA, and data highlighter. You can watch a little video on it, and uh, and you could you could figure out which one is um, yeah, which one is the method that Google recommends. And what that type of microdata does is, if I was to search for, um, you know, like uh, I don't know, uh, um, uh, Italian food San Francisco and I'm choosing San Francisco because they're going to have coders who are building things up to like the top best modern standards um, and so here you can see it's got ratings it's got a price it says the food right it's got got pictures in the results and so they are pulling all this from microdata or rich snippets um, or I forget which one Google recommends and uh, you know if we look at that you know, it'll 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 show me some of those ratings, and so websites that have, and, and maybe they're pulling all this from Yelp or something. I don't know. So websites that make that stuff enabled will rise higher in the ranks because it allows Google to provide better quality results and more information to users. So, for instance, if I search for like um, I wanted to make like uh, uh, peanut butter cookies, cookie recipe. Uh, that I, I just did a, a, a map search for peanut butter cookie. There we go. And so here you can see these recipe sites have ratings come up, right? And and uh, and that's that. And you know the reviews, the ratings, the calories. The calories came up on this one, but not on this one. The time came up on this one, 45 minutes, right? But not on on this one. And so that's all coming up using these rich snippets. And so that's a, another level of semantics. You're embedding semantic meaning into your web page so that when search engines hit it, they could pull out more information. And so they have certain standards with rich snippets that if you're you know, offering you know, recipes, here are the different ways you could tag. You actually enclose stuff. This is a rating. You enclose it in a certain tag, and then search engines know, OK, that's what that is. <clears throat> Great question about uh, search engines and, and the head and meta and, and uh, do we use keywords and descriptions and does it matter?